So in my Facebook group, there was a question asked on a subject in which I actually never covered on the channel. They have some music, they wanna add some markers in, and do they need a plugin to do this? Like how is the best way to do this? I'm guessing that they're going to be editing to music, so they wanna have the markers in there so that they can snap to those different areas. You actually can do this all from within DaVinci Resolve. There are a couple of things to, to, to note here on how to do this, but it's not that difficult. And it's all built into both versions of DaVinci Resolve. So if you have the free version, you can take advantage of this as well. So let's open up DaVinci Resolve and jump in. Now there are a couple of different things that I wanna quickly tell you is we're going to be covering, um, or we're going to be targeting what are referred to as transient. So drastic differences and in uh, levels. And that's how we're going to be able to pick all of our different points. If you are working with a full mix down song, there are going to be a lot of points in this. So that's something to keep in mind. They all might not be edit points that you might want to edit to. Typically people want to edit to like a bass line or drums or something like that. So if you do want to edit to something like that and you're just looking for music, you can always do epidemic sound because they do stems. Or if you're working with someone that can provide you stems, those are also good because they typically break up the different instruments and then you can just uh, write all of your uh, markers to whatever the thing is that you want to edit to. Um, that's always a, you know something you can take advantage of. If you do want to take a look at Epidemic Sound, there should be a link in the description so you could get a free trial on that. But let's just jump in and I will show you both ways here quick. So the first one is I'm just going to bring in my song and let's make a new timeline and let's add that song in. So here is our song that we're going to be working with. I'm just going to listen to this. Okay, so you get the gist of the song. I'm actually gonna dim that so it's not so loud on uh, for both of us. Uh, and so now all we have to do to be able to add all of our markers in is we need to add in a, we need to turn on transient detect. And so to do that, it's gonna be this little button here. We'll click on that to turn that on. Now, Fairlight can have thousands of different tracks. And because of that, we have to state where we want the transient detect to detect transients. And so to do that, all we have to do is in whatever track it is, we just pulled this down and we have this little button here to turn transient detect on in there. I'm gonna make this smaller so we can actually see it. And we can see it's going through the track and it's finding all of the different transients. I pulled that down, which actually pulled down the audio level. So you might not wanna do that. If you do do it, you wanna reset it. Uh, when it, you know, when you're uh, done doing this aspect of it. I just pulled it down so we could see the lines easier. If we open this up, we can see all of the lines. Now, we want a way to be able to jump between the lines so to make this as easy as possible. And the easiest way to do this, if we come over here to our timeline settings, we'll open this up. This navigations option, we just wanna make sure that transient detect is turned on. If it's grayed out, it's not on obviously, so we wanna have it lit up so that it's turned on. Once we are there, and right now I have nothing else on my timeline, so everything that it's going to jump to is only based off of the transient detect because I don't have other clips for it to jump to. Uh, it's all just gonna be the transient detect. And so all I have to do is just go to wherever you wanna add these. Let's say right here, I just hit my down arrow and it jumps to it. Now, wherever my playhead is, I can add a marker by hitting M. So we add our marker there. Now, if you have the uh, piece of material selected, the clip selected and we hit you know, are down and then we hit M, it's going to add it on to whatever we have uh, selected. So if you wanted to go on that timeline because you want to snap to it on the timeline, we will make sure that nothing's selected, hit M and then it'll add it to the timeline. And we can see that we can easily add those in. Now, this is going to add a transient line for every single thing that is a drastic change in the levels. So if we listen to the song again, We can hear, that's not a bass line, right? But there's a transient line there. So this is something to note when you're working with mixed down tracks. If we didn't want to have the mixed down track, so let's just make a new timeline so we have our clean slate. And let's say we were to use something from like Epidemic Sound, which has uh, the ability to get stems. For that same song, I can bring those in and now we can bring them down. I should have probably put them all on their own 
track. Let's try that again. There we are. All right, let's bump this up and put this here. So now with all the playing, it's the same exact song, right? But now if we go over into Fairlight, now I can say, okay, which one do I want this to be? And if we look at these names, that says bass, so let's listen to that. And then this one's drums, so let's just listen to the drums. All right, so now the drums is probably what I want, but in between the drums, you can hear snares. So there's gonna be transient line drawn for those snares because it, it's just the drum, then silence, then a snare, then a drum, right? So there's gonna be transient lines drawn there as well. But we can turn it on here, and this will get us a much closer than what we previously had. Now it's kind of hard to see the transient line, so I'll just bring this down so we can actually see it. Now this is just, to be able to see it, we we'll wanna reset that again. But now, because we can see like right here where the snare is, it's adding in a transient line, right? So we would just have to skip those. So we just go down, nothing select it, hit M, nothing, don't want that, that's a snare, want that, want that, that's a snare, want that, want that, snare, want that, right? So now, we could edit to that very easily. Um, what are we gonna do here? Let's just grab some, here we go, perfect, solid color. Just quickly show you. Now we can snap to that, right? And let's change the color of this so we can actually tell the difference between them. And we'll pull this all down. Let's grab another one. And we'll just add another color. And I'll just copy this and copy that. And let's make these smaller. Copy that and copy that one and copy that one. Now, if we listen to this, There we go, that's how we would do that. Hopefully you guys found this interesting. Uh, if you wanna know more about the, the Fairlight page and what it all has, there's a link in the description to a eight hour course that goes over everything on the Fairlight page from making dialogue sound better to sweetening a mix all the way to Adobe Atmos. You can take a look at that and there's a lot of other stuff on that website that you can take a, take a look at, but that is how we add markers in if we ever wanted to do an edit based off of the music and using what is referred to as transient detect to be able to easily jump and navigate on the timeline to add those markers in. Did you know about this? If you did, awesome, what do you use it for? If you didn't know about it, now that you know about it, will you be using it for edits that have to go off of a soundtrack? Let me know in the comments. But with that being said, my name's Jared. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, peace.